All right, hello, hello. Welcome to Heal in a Sun Tarot. So I hope everyone is doing well. Today is gonna to be a general love reading. So let's find out what's going on with you and the person that is on your mind. All right, so let's see. If you guys are interested in booking a personal reading, all of my information is down below as well as access to my online courses. Okay, so let's take a look at past energy. So what was going on in the past between you and your person? Ooh, I feel like this came out recently in a, a general love reading as the past energy, but I could be wrong. We have the five of cups in reverse. So I'm getting kind of a sadness or regret in the past, okay? There's um, kind of a darker energy, because if you notice here, this five of cups, it's this guy wearing this black cloak, and you can't actually see him. There's sort of this, um, someone is hiding, I think in the past someone was kind of hiding how sad they were or hiding um, how much they were feeling the loss of something, okay? Like someone was feeling the loss, but I think trying to hide it. All right, let's see your person's current energy towards you. So they're feeling really insecure right now for some reason. We'll take a closer look at that uh, later. I'll clarify it later. Um, but the judgment card in reverse is someone who's feeling insecure, or who, who's having a lot of self-doubt, a lot of self-judgment. So their current energy towards you um, is just that they're kind of doubting themselves. They might be comparing themselves to you or just feeling kind of insecure right now. What's your energy towards your person? The hanged man in reverse, okay? I feel like you guys... So the Hanged Man is a card of surrendering, letting go. So I'm getting here that you guys are struggling to just surrender to the situation. Maybe you tried to put a lot of effort into this. Um, I feel like there's an energy where you were struggling to just let go of this or struggling to just allow it to flow almost. Okay, like there's, I'm getting a, almost like a forced energy or this energy of like struggling to surrender to this the connection or whatever was happening within the connection. Okay. So if you guys like feel, or this is I guess your current energy, but if you feel like you're struggling to accept what is when it comes to this connection, so whether there's something you don't like, whether you're not with the person, whatever it is, there's something that you're struggling to just surrender to. That's your current energy towards your person, okay? So let's see, why is this all happening? Why is this all happening? What do we have here? Six of swords, so I'm getting that there's a lot of distance here. Someone has made the decision to move on, um, okay, so whether this was you or your person, I'm getting someone here is moving on or keeping their distance, okay? Um, for some of you guys, there could be a third party involved. It doesn't have to be, but there could possibly be, but I'm getting there's a distance here. Someone is like, um, either physically moving or like just emotionally okay because the six of swords is definitely a card of distance so it could be mentally emotionally physically so take it how it resonates but i'm getting a lot of distance between you and this person or someone made the decision to move on okay <clears throat> maybe that's what you're struggling to accept possibly but we'll we'll dive a little bit deeper let's see how is your person currently seeing you right now the four of wands they're feeling like, are you in a commitment? For some of you guys, you might be in a commitment. So this person could be seeing you like married or in a commitment, or this person feels like you're celebrating something right now, or you're heading towards some sort of celebration or some sort of um, stability in your life, okay? I feel like this person sees you as moving towards something stable right now, okay? Um, and I feel like they feel like your back is turned away from them. And I'm getting that energy a lot through these cards. But if you notice here, this four of wands specifically is this guy who has his back turned. So this person is seeing you heading towards some sort of stability that doesn't involve them. Okay, so take that how it resonates. For some of you guys, it could be that you're already in a commitment or you're already married. So how are you seeing your person? How are you seeing your person? The Wheel of Fortune in Reverse. So you're seeing this person as being stuck in some sort of cycle. It could be like a karmic cycle. You're seeing this person as very slow moving. I feel like you also see this person as carrying a lot of burdens or that they have a lot on them. Like they're carrying a lot of weight that slows them down in life, okay? So whether it's like baggage or like a mindset, you see this person as struggling to move out of cycles that maybe they need to move out of because if you notice here the guy at the bottom of the wheel looks like he's really struggling okay so you might see your person also as well as struggling in life in some area of their life right now okay let's see 
best possible scenario. Best possible scenario here. I'm getting someone's going to be taking action. We have the Knight of Wands. There will be movement here with this connection, <clears throat> which is interesting because I'm getting here that some, whoever, okay, so let's put it this way. Whoever made the distant or the choice to distance themselves, I feel like the other person is going to be chasing them or going after them. It's like this is a very fast movement. Someone is going to act on their passion and just race towards this person, Knight of Wands. Okay, so I am getting action here. Um, if you know that you're not going to be taking action in the near future, expect that your person will be rushing towards you. Okay, let's go back to this because I said I was going to clarify this judgment reverse. So what is this insecurity that they're dealing with here? The chariot and the temperance card in reverse. So this person feels like you're moving faster in life than they are, okay? That could be why they're, see how, okay, yeah, this makes a lot of sense, because look at this four of wands. Remember how I was saying this person feels like you're moving towards some sort of stability, or you're having some sort of win in your life, or some sort of victory, like a celebration. Four of wands can also talk about a celebration, which I normally never see that card as that, but this specifically is making me feel like a celebration. So this person feels like in life, you are just overcoming obstacles faster than them. You're moving forward faster. They feel like they can't catch up. Temperance in reverse. This person might feel a little bit emotionally out of balance. So it's like the faster you move, the more insecure they feel. And I feel like it puts this pressure on them. Like they feel like they have to catch up to you. And I feel like they will. I do feel like this person is going to catch up to you. But this, like... The way you move makes them feel a pressure to keep moving forward. Does that make sense? Like they want to keep up with you, but they struggle to. And that's what their insecurities are. And that's why I think you're seeing this person this way. Like you're seeing this person as slow moving or like they just can't seem to get the ball rolling in some area of their life. Like they, they're stuck or there's a lot of weight that they're carrying. Um, and some of you guys, like I said, I think there could be a third party energy here as well. I'm getting like three here and I'm also getting three here. Like we have this guy and then there's the three people surrounding it. So I feel like there could possibly be um, like some sort of third party energy. Maybe you see this person having a third party energy that's just weighing them down. Okay. So definitely take it how it resonates. If it's not a third party, then it's just you see other things that are bogging this person down. So let's take a closer look at their emotions for you. So for those who this is resonating with, what are their person's current feelings and emotions? What are their person's current feelings and emotions? Okay, so they're feeling really jealous right now. Okay, let's clarify why this is coming through. Um, makes, it kind of makes sense though, right? Because someone who's dealing with insecurities, like usually when someone's jealous, it is, it's underlying that is an insecurity, okay? So this person could be jealous of some area of your life where things are going well, or this person is jealous of you moving on with someone else. The other thing I'm getting is like for the for those of you who you are already in a commitment with someone else, they're jealous of this. So let me just clarify this jealousy coming through. The four of pentacles because they don't want to let you go. I feel like this person doesn't want to let you go but also is struggling to open up to you. So it's like they don't want you to be with anyone else but they also are struggling to open up. This is someone who can be a bit stubborn, okay, with the four of pentacles coming through. So let's see um, what their messages are. I do think this person is going to... It's almost like their jealousy is going to drive them to take action towards you. Like this possessiveness, this jealousy might be enough to just kind of get them out of their um, self-deprecating, like jealous or insecure energy and just push them to actually take action. Okay, especially for those of you who are, yeah, look at this. I'm sorry, or I'm so tired of sabotaging this connection. This person has sabotaged the connection because of the insecurities. Look, I told you guys, look, I'm making a plan to come back to you. This person's coming back to you. Um, if this reading is resonating with you, the vibe that I'm getting is that in the past, this person sabotaged the connection because they felt insecure at the, the movement that, like, either you wanted to move the connection faster and they couldn't, like because of their insecure insecurities, they couldn't move as fast as you. But the other thing I'm getting is that this person in life sees you like moving forward so fast. You overcome obstacles, you push forward. I don't know what area of your life, maybe it's like with family, friendships, um, work, whatever it is, in maybe life in general, but this person sees you as someone who just gets through things so quickly and they don't feel as like they don't feel like they move as fast especially if this is someone who's a bit stubborn a bit slow could be an earth and earth sign um this person is 
feeling they feel out of balance sometimes when they're around you because it brings out their insecurities and their jealousies so this person because of that in the past was sabotaging the connection okay something has changed here because the overall energy in the center here of the reading is a six of swords so i feel like someone made the decision to distance themselves or to move on and i feel like this is you with the six of swords you have decided to move on or distance yourself and i feel like this is really intensifying their emotions right now and if they've been stuck in the past guess what it's like all of a sudden this burst of energy comes through and this person is like screw my jealousy screw my insecurities i'm just rushing towards this person but i almost feel like it's their jealousy and their like intensive feelings and emotions that are driving them to just be like i'm just gonna go after my person okay so that's the vibe that i'm getting so if this re reading resonates with you expect to hear from this person i don't know if you guys are open to it because i do feel like your energy is turning your back or is moving towards something, but some of you guys might be open to it, so just take it how it resonates, okay? Um, but that is what I have for you guys, so I do hope that this reading was um, helpful. As always, if you wanna book something personal, my information is down below. But I am sending you absolute love and light, and I wish you all of the best on your journeys. Take care.